Well, many people started leaving Glastonbury late last night and some of those who left first thing this morning were so keen to beat the queues that, as you see here, they've completely abandoned camp. They were here from first thing. It's like a giant hoover's just descended on this field. Lionel Rich tea, uh, face mask, which I'm going to keep, put it in my bedroom wall when I get home. <laughs> Lump hammer, Vivian Westwood um, handkerchief yesterday and a Hermes scarf. And then generally speaking, it's usually people's uh, passport, bank cards, wallets, keys. And while most were packing up... Morning, sunshine. Ali. Oliver. Others woke up to find the hard work had already been done, with tents taken down around them. Uh, this is my seventh year at Glastonbury. Broke my ankle uh, a week and a half before cried for the thought of missing Glastonbury as opposed to um, the pain and I'm just, I'm glad I came, I'm glad I managed to do it. Didn't enjoy Kanye, I thought he was rubbish, but <laughs> I've enjoyed everything else, it has been absolutely brilliant, thanks. <laughs> this group from Western Supermare have brought everything but the kitchen sink. Yeah, we've got three sofas, a gazebo and lots of air beds, we've got a coffee table, well a dining room table, carpet, we've got a carpet on the floor, it's underlay, underlay. and underlay. Under the midday sun, thousands trudged back to their cars before joining the huge queues. We've moved about, I don't know, um, 200 metres in an hour. So yeah, not too good. <laughs> not too good, but we were out partying late till four, so it's our own fault. Home, James! With their sofa now on board, home finally beckons. And it's not just the campers, but the land that's really ready for a well-deserved rest. And then there's only one more year to go before the festival takes a break for the fallow year in 2017. And that's when Worthy Farm can really start to recover. Fiona Lambdin, BBC Points West at the Glastonbury Festival. All right. It's fine.